can't ever go past the Turkish Gosler May stand if I spot a stall at an outdoor event. But making them at home is much easier than you'd think. Even more so when it doesn't involve making pastry and Tamale Spoon delivers all of the ingredients that you need to your door. The great thing about meal kits is everything is pre-portioned, which makes it even easier. First step is to prepare the capsicum. Just want to cut off the cheeks and the base and put the grill onto high. Waste any of the base, put that into the compost. And for about eight minutes, just want the skin to char and blister. Listen out for the little pops. That's the good stuff. I love putting capsicum under the grill or over the flame. It draws out the natural sweetness, juices from the flesh, and takes on a smokiness that's really quite addictive. If you don't know what our meal kit is, it's a box with pre-portioned market fresh ingredients delivered straight to your door with all of the delicious recipes to cook them. That's all it needs. Just until it's just wilted. Pop it straight into a sieve. Let it cool for a second while we grate some zucchini and then we'll squeeze out as much liquid as we can. I love making gozleme on weekends when I just have a bit more time to let the dough rest because that part is actually pretty easy. But what I love about this cheats version is you can really make one of your favourites any day of the week. So just transfer the zucchini straight in. You really want to squeeze out as much of the liquid as you can because we really don't want the bread to become soggy. I'll just leave this to sit for a moment while I prepare some of the other ingredients. Some spring onion. Definitely use all of it, the dark and pale part. Just adds a bit of a subtle zing, helps to lift the flavours. Now for a really handy tip for mincing garlic, just cut off the end, give it a good push and the skin will release easily. You just want to roughly chop. Okay, now to add some friction, just a good pinch of salt. Whenever I'm adding raw garlic to a dressing or a sauce, I always mince it first, so you're not left with the chunky bits that can be a little bit unpleasant. Capsicum should be ready. They smell fantastic. Let them sit for a moment to cool down. Just switching the grill onto oven now, so we can finish cooking the gozleme a little later on. Okay, these are cool enough to handle. Just onto the board. Peel off as much of the skin as you can. All the black bits, or the burnt bits. Not that nice to eat, but it doesn't matter if some of the skin hasn't released. Grilling it has just brought out all of that flavour. So that's the most important thing. And then I'll just give it a good chop. You can choose from over 20 different recipes every single week and you'll receive a recipe card just like this one and all the ingredients that you need to cook a delicious meal in around 30 minutes. Okay, keep half of that sauce. Add the spinach and zucchini mixture, half the capsicum, half the garlic, and the spring onion. Some feta for some saltiness. I want to make this gozleme a little bit different to the typical one that you would find with a bit of a twist or a marley spin twist as we call it. So just bringing a lot of different flavours and textures together that work really well together. I like using an ingredient like lamb kofta mince. It's really flavour packed and it carries the filling even though there's less of it. So we can actually disguise how much meat and vegetables is actually inside. Salt. Of course, if you can't find any kofta mints where you are, you can just use lamb mints as a substitute. And then I just add some ground cumin and coriander, about one to two teaspoons of each. That works well as well. All right. Whenever I'm out and I'm eating a gozleme, <laughs> I almost always wish there was more filling. So I really pack it in when I'm at home. Just put half of the mixture onto one side of each of the pita breads. 
And that is it. Just with the back of the spoon, it's easy as that. Turn it onto a medium heat. Add a little bit of oil. Fold these over. Give them a good press. If you have a pan large enough, just put both of them in at the same time. I'm just going to drizzle it with a little bit of oil before I turn it. Just touch it up. Ooh. Nice. I'm just using a cake rack, which is optional, but just keeps the bread nice and dry and crisp, and all of the cooking juices can run into the tray. All right, let's put this in the oven. This needs around five minutes, so the filling can continue to cook. The rest of the capsicum garlic into our yogurt. Always have to have a lemon wedge with your best lemon. Just cut it into six. Now to finish the sauce. So I have some yogurt, half the garlic and half the chopped capsicum. This is my absolute favorite accompaniment to this dish. Give it a bit of a taste. It doesn't need any more lemon. We can save these for serving. Okay, I think it's ready to come out of the oven. Oh, it looks so good. Careful of fingers. Now hot. Just cut them up into random pieces. Touch a lemon. Okay, then I'll just try a little bit. Mm, you have to dunk. Oh, my lamb, Kofta Goslamer. Mm -hmm. 